Hi everyone, thanks for joining. I'm Chris Takin from Suprema and Sales Manager for Overseas Business Sector. Today I would like to introduce our new product, IM120, which is an input module. I will leave you all the aspects and the features of IM120 and discuss what's going to come up for next. The contents I have prepared today is the first to introduce what Suprema's centralized access control system is, the features of IM120, and quick demonstration showing how it works. Lastly, I will have a discussion with Ramji Burns, who is the product manager for Suprema, to discuss the benefits of IM120 and what's going to update on Suprema centralized access control system. Okay, let's start with explaining Suprema's controller core station. This is Suprema's four-door controller core station. Each of four ports supports all the standard connections to control door hardware. Each port has RS-485, weekend interface, two inputs, two outputs, and one relay. You can store up to 500,000 users and up to 5 million event logs. It communicates to host software by Ethernet and supports downstream device on RS-485. One core station can connect door module named DM20 by RS-485. The DM20 can connect two readers by weekend. Up to 31 DM20 can connect to each RS-485 port of core station. So one core station can support up to 132 doors. These are the core station family products. DM20 is dual module. Express D2 is dummy RFID reader. We have a million type, gang bus type, and gang bus with keypad type. BioNTR R2 is dummy fingerprint device. ENCR10 is enclosure, and OM120 is output module, which can control up to 12 output relays. And now we launch input module IM120. So input module has 12 supervised inputs, two relays, and three aux inputs. One of aux inputs can be used for a temper. A total of 31 units can be connected to a master device core station through RS-485. These are three features of IM120 that I would like to introduce today. The one is multiple inputs configured to multiple relays. So 12 supervised inputs can configure linkages for M to N. Second is offline operation. And third is IM120 can control two doors. First, let's have a look at how multiple inputs can be configured to multiple relays. You can connect any input device, such as panic button or door contact or alarm sensor or PIR sensor. Two relay outputs can connect with any output device like sirens or lights. Input and output linkage is configurable as M to N. For example, one input can be configurable to two outputs and three inputs can be configurable to one output. Let's look at the demonstration panel. This is Prima Intelligent Controller Core Station. This is Keypad RFID Reader Express D2. This is Fingerprint Device BioNTR R2. These two devices connect to Core Station through RS-485. That is the input module IA120. It connects to Core Station through RS-485. Two door contacts and one X button connect the input port of IA120. Two buzzers connect to output port of IA120. This door contacts connected to input number three is mapped with two buzzers. And the exit button connected to input number 11 is mapped with this buzzer. So if the door contact is detected off, this buzzer will alarm. Okay, let's look at the BioStar 2 software. This is the list of devices connected to core station, and this is IM120. If we click the IM120, we can configure the setting. So you can enter the name of its input port, uh, and you can set the whether to use supervised input or not, and the residence value. So supervised input allows you to monitor the on, off, and short status of the device. 
The switch can be set normal closed or normal open. And you can set the action of relay 0 and relay 1 respectively. And you can set the, uh, whether to trigger an alarm when the connection with the master device is lost or when a temper occurs. You can say whether to operate an alarm or fault when an input fault signal occurs. And fault is only activated when the supervised input is enabled. So now let me do a demonstration. Uh, input number three, uh, the door contact is connected. I activate an input three alarm on relay zero and relay one. So if input three is detected off, the buzzer, the two buzzers, uh, which connects to each relay, 0 and 1 will alarm. On input 11, exit button is connected. I activate on input 11 alarm, a relay 0. So if exit button is detected on, the buzzer which connects to the relay 0 will alarm. Second feature of IM120 is offline operation. When IM120 goes offline from its master core station, the linkages between inputs and relays will still function. IA120 is disconnected from the core station, but the linkages between inputs and outputs will still function. While offline, input module can store up to 10 logs per port. The last feature is it is suitable for two-door control. It has two relays, so you can configure two doors with IA120 through RS485. So that's all I have to say today. In summary, IA120 is an input module which has 12 supervised inputs, two relays, and three aux inputs. It supports linkage function, offline operation, and you can control two doors. Now I would like to invite Ramji Burns who is the product manager for Suprema Centralized Access Control System and involved IAM120 development from the beginning. Hi, Ramji. Thank you for joining today. Hi, Krista. Glad to be here. Yeah. <laughs> IAM120, I think it's not a brand new product, but I think it's a very essential product for Suprema Centralized Access Control Solution. So do you think how can our partners benefit from this new product? Well, Krista, our use, partners are using Biostorm more and more for advanced tasks, and that includes alarm monitoring, which is an important part of a security system. And with adding IM120, our customers can have more flexible options to monitor not only doors, but other points in the building as well, giving site managers a better overview of the security situation. And having that integrated in the same platform, and managing the doors makes it much easier to take care of for those administrators. I see. Then what kind of devices can it interface with besides what I have just demonstrated? Well, you showed there are door contacts, which is very common as we often have doors in the building that uh, don't have a reader, but the status needs to be monitored, such as emergency exits. But you also have a wide range of other sensors like glass breaks, uh, water for flooding, temperature, and more that can be connected. And in addition to that, you can connect with other systems, such as a whole intrusion system where a relay output can be connected to IM120 to represent the status of a group of sensors or a whole partition. And you can also get signals from building management system, fire system, and many others. I see. And what other updates can we look forward to on our HCS system? Well, Krista, we have a lot of new features coming up that will be introduced in 2022. These are all focused on the goal of making Biostar a more comprehensive platform for access control, uh, alarm monitoring, and systems integration. Of course, to support the IM120, we'll be adding more features for system monitoring. And we'll also have improved dashboard along with the enhanced reports. Uh, so it will be an exciting year to see what all will be released and how our partners are able to use that to create new solutions. Okay, thank you, Ramji. Thank you for your feedback and joining today. So it's great time to have a talk with you. My pleasure. Always. Thanks, Chris. Thanks.